you've just downloaded Quick uh, Quick Horse and installed it, and this is one of the first screens you'll be presented with. Before we go further, let me just tell you that um, basically I like to refer to this system as a two-fingered system as far as operating. Uh, it's either a uh, right mouse button click or a left mouse button click. And for most of the features of Quick Horse, that's all you need to operate. You very rarely have to type in anything at all. So with that being said, uh, typically your left mouse button is used to select features and a feature is uh, one that's contained in what appears to be a slightly three-dimensional button. We refer to these as buttons. Here's a button. There's a button. Getting a tip sheet is a button. Rebuilding the database. All right. So you've installed Quick Horse, and one of the first things you'll need to do is to download data. Uh, if you're using our free data, you want to download our free data from our website. We recommend that you try our free data. Uh, it's a lot uh, less expensive than the pay data. You can also use the Breeze DRF formatted data, whether you get that from BreezeNet or some other site. But for purposes of this demonstration, since most of our users do use our free data, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download free data. So pick your free data. Oh, there's, there's one more point. Once you select pay data to be used with Quick Horse, Quick Horse will not allow you to use our free race programs anymore. You'll not even be presented with those options. You won't be able to see these displays, and so you won't be able to select uh, the free data. All right, we've got uh, two types of data. We've got uh, current racing data and we've got historical racing data. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do this in the order that you should probably do it in. First of all, you've got a track name in mind. The track name I've got in mind is Charlestown. So I've downloaded Quick Horse and I want to handicap at Charlestown race racetrack. So I'm going to go to the History button, find Charlestown. It's not on this page. All right, I found Charlestown right here. Again, a left uh, button click on your mouse after you locate your cursor over the top of the Charlestown button. This whole thing is a button. Click on it, and the track uh, name changes color to yellow. That means it's been selected. All right. I'm going to encourage you to just, during your trial period, just select one track and learn to use the features of Quick Horse with just that one track. So I've selected Charlestown, and uh, remember, I'm, I'm looking at history. I want to see the history available for Charlestown. So I'm finished. If I had wanted other tracks, I would have clicked on them, and, and it'll go out and it'll find history for all those tracks. But let's just do one at a time. I'm finished, so I click Done. And now uh, what we're seeing is a list of all the months of history that are available uh, for free. Okay, we're going down through 2013, 2012. I can do the next page down to February of 2011, back to November of 2009, and back to January of 2009. So we've got 2013, 12, 11, 10, and 9. So up to five years worth of of free data. Now, uh, each of these f months, uh, this free data um, is a rather large file. And so if you have um, dial up service, obviously it's going to take quite a while for you to download these files. For something like DSL or for, or for uh, cable, like Comcast cable, uh, not so much. Okay, so I'll just give you an idea. I'm just going to download, I'll download July and I'll download June. And I'm using DSL here so you get an idea of how long it takes uh, with my internet connection. Hopefully you've got high speed. Quick Horse is going to work a lot better for you if you have high speed. Most of our customers do. So I've selected the months of history I want to download. Click continue and the data is downloaded for you automatically. Now this data that's downloaded includes all the races at that track during that month, all the horses, 
and up to 10 past outings for each of those horses and any workouts, up to 10 past workouts for any of those horses. So in just that short amount of time, Quick Course has downloaded the historical data for you. The next thing you want to do is you want you obviously want to use Quick Course to handicap races, so we want to download the most recent entries and charts with the uh, free, again, this is the free data. So we click there, find our Charlestown. Oddly enough, it's it's been selected, and the reason why it's been selected is because you've already downloaded history, so Quick Course is going to assume that if you download history, then you've done so because you want to handicap, and so that selection is still uh, maintained. So we want to download, uh, what it will do, it will download up to seven days of past racing and maybe today's and tomorrow's uh, race programs for you. It will also include the results of those programs, and I'll show you that in just a bit. But all we, all we need to do, make sure the track is selected by clicking that button, and now we say, we click on the done button. Again, we haven't even used the right mouse button. The right mouse button we'll get into later, but uh, we're going to click done. What's happening now is we're going out and getting the free data charts that we maintain, free data programs and charts. Once that's done, uh, your next step, if you had multiple tracks, would be to select a track. You only have one track to select, and that's what's listed here. If we downloaded Belmont and, and uh, Aqueduct and some of the other tracks, and we download the histories or, or the most recent programs, uh, those would appear here. But we've only done one track. So we're going to click on that, and we can now select from any of these buttons. What I'm going to do is show you the race card list because I want to show you what programs are available uh, when we download it from history. All right, we see we've got all of July's programs and June's. The next page, June 9th and June 1st. So let's go back. And now I'm going to pick on a particular um, race card that's that's already been um, the charts have been downloaded for. So we have the uh, results. And what you're seeing here is an actual screen that you would use to handicap races. I'm going to stop right now and we'll continue this discussion in another video. This video was designed or was was done to take you through uh, just downloading uh, data. And so we'll talk about handicapping uh, in the next video.